Okay, in this video I will tell you about a software called Cloudberry Online Backup and how to use it together with Google Cloud Storage in order to backup your data to the cloud. If you want more information on Google Cloud Storage, I have a separate video about it and you can find the link in the description field below. Now the website of uh, Cloudberry is cloudberrylab.com and they have a product called Online Backup Desktop. Well, actually it's a bit confusing because here they call it Cloudberry S3 Backup Desktop, but it's the same thing. So this is a software that costs only $30 and uh, you can download a trial version uh, which can be used uh, during two weeks. So I have installed the software and let's have a look at the interface under File. I have, I can choose from a number of storage services. There are 16 of them. And I have personally activated the Amazon S3 service and the Google Cloud Storage service. So if I have a look at Google, I have created two accounts, or actually it's what Cloudberry calls accounts, but it's more like uh, profiles because I only have one Google account, but I can create any number of profiles. And if I look at this profile, which is named Google MemoQ, if I select edit, I can see here the access key that I obtained from the Google console, the secret key that I had to enter in order to gain access to my Google account and the bucket that I have chosen for this profile. So I have a bucket named MemoQ, which I will be using. So now I close this and under backup plans, I will start the backup wizard. Next, I can choose which storage service I want to use. So I will use the Google storage with my Google MemoQ profile. So next, I will give it a name. So I will call it uh, MemoQ TMs for transition memories. Next, I will select the advanced mode with encryption and multiple file version and so on. And this is very important, force using VSS. VSS means volume shadow copy service. And this is what will allow me to backup live data. So this is what uh, Dropbox, for instance, is not able to do because Dropbox does not support VSS. With this option, I can backup my translation memories in MemoQ, even though I'm accessing the memories at the same time. So I click Next. Here I will select the location of the file, so it's in under program data and memoq and transition memories. And I suppose that I'll have to select also the files in that folder just to make sure. Are there any more? Yes, a few more and next. So now I'll back up all files in selected folders. That's fine. Next, uh, I'll choose to compress the files and also to encrypt them. I can choose from a number of encryption, but I'll choose the default, whatever this is. I'll enter my password. And next. Now for purging, I have a number of options. So I'll select uh, the custom purge options and I can choose, for instance, to keep all backups for one month and after that uh, the older ones are purged. And I can also choose to delete files that after they have been deleted locally, they stay 30 days on the cloud and after that they are also deleted. Next, 
and here I will choose, I have several options for schedule and I will choose real time backup. So in effect, this will be a Dropbox like backup. So I click next and I can have a notification by email if the backup fails. Well, I'm not interested in that. So I click next and here is a summary of my backup plan. Next and I'm done. So now if I look at this backup plan, I can start. Well, I will not complete it, uh, but it would start automatically and run in the background. So instead, since I have already run this backup plan, I can have a look at storage and here I can browse through the content of my TMs. So for instance, if I choose this TM Mezzo, I can see that I have several versions of the same file because it has been modified during the backup. And I could restore, I could select manually the version that I'm interested in. And here under history, I have uh, details of the backups that were performed. So this is how to use Cloudberry Online Backup with Google Cloud Storage to backup uh, live databases like the MemoQ translation memories.